Hello and welcome to today's lab. Within your VCL session, navigate to the course webpage for Government 300 and Blackboard. And along the left hand side, choose Data. And under the full data sets, click on the NES 2008. And you'll be prompted to either open or save that data set. Click Open, and this will start your session of SPSS. Today's lab builds on your knowledge of univariate analysis in SPSS and instructs how to recode variables. Remember that all variables contain two or more values because variables must vary. Regardless of level of measurement, nominal, ordinal, or interval ratio in SPSS, numbers either comprise or correspond to each category. Remember that variables stand for concepts. If at the conceptual level, our research question or hypothesis changes, we may need to recode our variable in order to map onto our concept more appropriately. For instance, suppose we were only interested in measuring two values of our dependent variable of party ID, which ordinarily contains seven categories. Thus, we would need to recode this variable to contain only two values, perhaps Democrat or not, or moderate or not. This collapses values of one variable with seven categories into a new variable with fewer categories based on what problem we are attempting to solve. All right, let's take a look at how this works in SPSS. In the NES 2008 dataset, let's look at a nominal variable that measures employment status in several categories. So let's run a frequency table on the variable entitled employee status by going to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, frequencies, and you want to sort your variable names, alphabetize, navigate down to employee status, select that into the variable pane, click OK, and here's a frequency table for our variable. Alright, so suppose we're only interested in those who are employed or unemployed with the third category for not in the labor force. So recode the variable as follows. In SPSS, go to Transform, recode into different variables, and again, alphabetize your variable names, sort alphabetically, and navigate to the employee status variable, and select that into the input variable, output variable pane. And then over on the right, under Output Variable, we're going to assign a name, a new variable name, here. And let's, let's choose WorkStat3. Remember that your variable name cannot include spaces and has to be relatively short. And under Label, let's call this Work Status in three categories. Click Change and then old and new values button. This button will allow you to assign new category values to the old category value or values. All right, so with the original category value of one, let's retain that distinction. So one stays the same which is working now. And then for our second category, we're going to collapse categories two through four, make that our second category of unemployed. And for our last category, which is not in the labor force, let's choose five through eight. All right, so we've defined all the original categories under new category labels here. So now that we've recoded this variable into three numeric categories, we still need to assign a value label to each new category. So click Continue and OK. And in the output, you should see uh, evidence that this recoding has taken place. So minimize out of the output window here and go to Variable View, 
And whenever you create a new variable in SPSS, it'll place it at the bottom of this variable list. So we're looking for our variable called workstat3. Here it is. And we're going to slide over and click on the values column. And we're going to assign value labels for each one of our numeric categories. So recall that the first category was working now. The second category was unemployed. And the third category was not in the labor force. All right, click OK. Now to check your work, run a frequency table on the new variable workstat3 just to make sure that it distributes across all three of those categories. All right, so analyze, descriptive statistics, frequencies, navigate to our new variable, workstat3, and click OK. All right, and it looks good. Now let's recode an interval variable in SPSS. So suppose we're interested in breaking down a feeling thermometer for Obama into fewer categories. So let's run a frequency table on the Obama thermometer. Now recall this thermometer is at the interval ratio level of measurement, and it measures uh, feelings in degrees toward then-candidate Obama. So navigate to Obama Therm, place that into the variable window, click OK, and just to confirm, we have obser observations uh, 0 in the 0 category all the way up to 100. All right, so minimize out of this output window, and just like our other transformation, let's go to Transform recode into different variables and take our old relationship out of there and select our new interval ratio Obama thermometer for recoding select that into the input pane and then assign a new number or a new value label and name for our new variable here so Obama therm 5 and the label of Obama thermometer in five categories. Click change and then define old and new values. All right, and since we have a hundred categories in this in this uh, variable, we're going to use the range function. Go ahead and exit or delete these old codes out of here. So select range and choose 0 through 19. That will be our first category in the new variable. And 20 through 39 will be our second category. And 40 through 59 will be our third category. 60 through 79 will be our fourth category. And 80 through 100 will be our final category, our fifth category. Now notice that these are broken up relatively equally, so we have you know, an equal number of, of uh, old categories in our new uh, category. All right, click Continue, and click OK. All right, so once you've recoded your variable into five categories, remember that you still need to assign value labels to your five new categories. All right, so in Variable View, navigate to the bottom of this list and we see our new variable Obama Therm 5 and click on the value cell here and we're going to provide a value label for each numeric code so our first category is going to be cold 
Second category is going to be cool. Third category will be neutral. And our fourth category will be getting warmer. And our fifth category will be hot. All right, click OK. And we'll run a quick frequency table on our recoded variable, Obama thermometer, in five categories by going to Analyze Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and select our Obama Therm 5, and click OK. And there you see a 0 to 100 interval ratio variable now recoded into an ordinal variable of five categories, cold, cool, neutral, warm, and hot. Great. Remember that whether or not to recode variables depends on the research question you're asking. And recall the two steps of recoding. First, assign numeric values to new categories using the TREMS form menu item. And second, add value labels to each numeric category in variable view. Then be sure and check your recoding to make sure that your observations are in the appropriate categories. You're doing great, students. Let's use our understanding of univariate distributions and start asking the questions about central location and dispersion.